Empaths, you know you have to learn to best protect yourself. It's exactly why I've created the Empath Self-Protection Course. And on this course, I'm going to bring to you the insights that have come from therapy in order to help you understand what you need to put in place to help navigate a world that may seem cruel and heartless. However, kind, considerate people must take responsibility for looking after themselves. So on my six week course, we will focus on exploring what it uniquely means to you to be an empath. We're gonna look at some of the common issues that come up time and time for highly empathic people. Firstly, is it a curse to care? So many empathic people feel like it is a curse to care because you put others first, you don't get back what you give and in the end it can end up making us feeling stressed out, anxious and depressed. Therefore, we explore that actually being an empath is a gift. Now, with any gift comes responsibility. So embedded throughout the course is the idea that you must learn to take personal responsibility for your well-being. Therefore, we need to audit our phones, audit our devices in order to manage any unnecessarily difficult people, temptations, sometimes our own form of self-sabotage. And that's another aspect we look at on the course, self-sabotage. For many of us, our enemies are not over yonder. Our enemies are looking at us right in the mirror and we have to learn the sneaky, crafty ways that we can sometimes put ourselves in situations that no longer serve us. We move on to look at, again, boundaries, but fundamentally, why boundaries can be very difficult for highly empathic people. That is important for us to assess because when you struggle or keep going around in vicious cycles or keep saying yes to people, you're going to be baffled why you've done it to yourself again. This course will help you identify what your blocks are. We then move on to have a brief look at our attachment styles. That's about how we were loved or not loved in our younger years and how those experiences unconsciously shape our relationships, our interactions, our way of being in the present moment. Once you understand that, my hope is you begin to get that aha moment. That's why I do that. And in doing so, you become clearer about what choices you need to make moving forward. You see, the Empath Self-Protection course is all about developing your self-awareness. Self-awareness is fundamental because we want to make conscious choices, not choices that come out of just ending up in situations or being unconscious. No, no, no. We want to develop our self-awareness. So, for example, if we decide not to block people and then we struggle with temptation when they come back for us, you will know exactly why. Because if we choose to not put barriers around us to best protect ourselves, it's only right that people who have benefited from our kindness and generosity will take their time and crawl back to come and feed from us. We also look at intimate relationships for empaths. It's one of the biggest areas that we struggle with. How do I know? I've been there. I still have my challenges. The key to changing your life, the key to overcoming your well-being challenges is self-awareness. And so as we move through the course, which focuses on self-responsibility, focuses again on developing that self-awareness, We look at what dreams, ambitions you may have given up on. Remember, when we give so much of our time to other people, what's left for us? Crumbs? Abandoned dreams? Or one day, or I shoulda, woulda, couldas? Shoulda, woulda, couldas are not great for us, especially if we've invested in others and now we're seeing them excel, especially when they excel away from us leaves us feeling used and abused. In the course, we focus on what you can do to benefit you. So we redistribute your energy away from others because we know we cannot change them. And we focus on developing you, your greatness. And we also know that for empaths, when it comes to doing for us, there's a likelihood that guilt will come up and keep us stuck in uncomfortable situations that are no longer serving us. Fret not, 
We have catered for that on the course and is exactly why I have designed the course, bringing together, synthesizing the insights from one-to-one -one therapy for the empathic people who often end up in the therapeutic chair because life has hurt them in order to best help you move on and up with your life. Now, what stops you from investing in you? Let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to see you on the Empaths Self-Protection Course. Do take care of you, because if you don't, who will?